So for this, the first step would be to uh, determine, you know, what record and under what conditions you want to generate the automated action. So if we go to inventory and we look at a delivery order, let's look at some that may have been done, none of them, but we'll, we'll go ahead, we will validate this. And then what we'll do is we'll create a return. And when we return, it generates an incoming receipt. And on that incoming receipt, receipt you see source document equals return of. So this is the this is what differentiates this inventory receipt from another inventory receipt, right? So if we look here, there's no source document listing, or it may say source document is a PO, but you see there's the one of return. And you'll see here, even if we have a purchase order, um, and we bring in the product, product X, and confirm it and receive it, um, you will see that the source document equals PO. It still doesn't contain return of. So what we'll do is we'll create an automated action, which will say return email, and the trigger condition will be based on an update of the record. And we're gonna apply it on a few things. Uh, one will be the source document must contain return of, and another condition is, and they, it must meet all conditions, right? And then the last condition is the, uh, the state is gonna be done. And you could say it needs to either be all or any of those conditions. We'll say it needs to meet both of these conditions. So it needs to be return and the status of the return needs to be done. And when we do that, we will send an email or we could say execute multiple actions which the actions could be listed here and the action name and we could create one here and we could say send email and we could say the action is on the transfer and the email we want to send is uh, just test and we're going to apply it to the transfer and um, return received um, the return titled and generic placeholder and we'll get the, um, the reference the return title has been received um, from customer and we'll take the partner off of this um, related to and then we'll say um, the source here. If, um, that's just a simple example. So the template should uh, did I not save it? Test. The template should define email from. Ah, I see. Um, that is fine. It's weird. Um, email. I'm just going to do another one. Test. You have to go into the actual email. Uh, this is weird. This is not supposed to behave that way. Maybe if I return out it should still let me edit it um, give me a second so I'll go in here I'll do email uh, templates there's our test now we can do advanced settings and the email from will be um, support at odoo.com in this example. Now if I go back here, it allows me to add it. And the other action we will do is we will, you know, um, next activity. And the model will be the transfer. And we will want to create another activity and the activity will be to do um, due date two days ahead, the user associated, if you wanna schedule me as responsible and say, um, you know, process, refund, you know, return, submitted, process, refund. Now we'll save it. So that's an automated action we've created here. Um, now close it. 
and let's test. So now we have a uh, transfer where the source equals return. If I validate it and apply, it's in the done, the email sent, and the next activity has been created. And the email would send the return of warehouse in seven has been received for customer. It didn't pull the customer because the customer isn't set. So you have to figure out a way to, to make sure that customer gets set there, whether it's manual or through a related field. Um, probably better to just do a related field, I would think. Um, I'll have to come up with something for that. And then you'll see the act next activity set here. And you'll see if I process a normal internal transfer, such as a um, any old warehouse in receipt. Let's just do one manually here. You'll see because it doesn't contain return of, it won't send the emails. Uh, I need to actually receive something here. You'll see no emails. But if I even go as far as processing one and putting return of, then it would meet the condition uh, that I've specified in my rule and it would it would send and do my work for me here. Um, but the ideal scenario would be, again, let's practice once more, immediate transfer, or let's go look at something that we have to process, such as this, validate it, two units, and I want to return one unit, return it to stock, generates my inventory receipt number 21. It's a return of this, and when I validate it, criteria is matched, everything happens. Let me know if you have any questions.